Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you an app I've created called Olivetin. Um, Olivetin is a very simple web interface for running Linux shell commands. So as you can see here from the web interface, I've got a few different commands to talk you through in a second. Um, in terms of the use cases, um, I use this at home and for a few friends and family um, who maybe want to run a shell command on one of my servers, but maybe they don't know how to use SSH or probably more to the point, I don't trust them using SSH to maybe like uh, maybe restart a service or, or ping a server or even like send a wake on LAN uh, command to some to one of the machines in my house. Um, and using Olivetin, using web interface is a very quick and easy way to do that. Um, you could also use this to maybe um, provide a very simple web interface to co-workers or colleagues where maybe they're just not quite familiar enough with Linux, but maybe know enough to run a few commands from time to time. Um, secondly, I've got a few tablets around for home automation um, and a few tablets in rooms and you know, using these buttons I can turn my lights on and off um, and do a few other things like that. And then lastly, sometimes you just don't have SSH access to a server um, or you just want to run a command that you run all the time, like starting a backup job and you just don't want to type on a command line and web interface is sometimes more convenient. So here's an example of a few jobs I've got set up. So on one of the servers I've got, um, LightDM keeps on crashing. So hey, it's a very simple command to restart LightDM on a server. You can see it just kicks off a little notification for this demo in the background, but you know, on my real machine, it will SSH into the server, restart LightDM, and you know, tell me when that's done. Um, I also use this to kick off a bunch of Ansible playbooks. Um, this can be really, really useful for running like a regular update or something like that and just starting an Ansible job. So those are some commands that are very quick to run, um, but sometimes you know commands might take a little bit longer. So this one, for example, just is running asleep. And you can see it just kind of hangs for a little bit. It just like hangs in a nice way, I guess. It just goes blank, um, waiting for the command to finish. And eventually will flash green to say, yep, I've finished my sleep. Um, by default, commands will um, time out after three seconds in all of tin, um, but you can set that timeout to whatever you like. Here's an example of running a command for five seconds, so longer than timeout. And in the background, all of 10 will kill that command um, and uh, if it's past its timeout, so you sort of flash blue there um, for, for that one. This can be also you really useful for asking people to ping common servers. So I just run use this to send a single ping to google.com, you know, the universal internet check. Uh, also is a good way to flash green there. Uh, I've got the this button here for toggling the lights, um, and this service is down at the moment, so this will fail. And you can see that this is commanded exit with code seven, which is a curl exit code, just saying, hey, you know, I couldn't reach that service at the moment. Um, here's another example, which is a command that doesn't exist, and that's exit code 127. That might make that a bit more user-friendly in the future, but exit code 127 on Linux is command not found. So that's what it looks like when a command doesn't work. A few other things about this. Um, it's a fairly responsive layout, so I'm zoomed in a lot for this demo. But you can zoom in and out. And of course, this works on mobile as well. And I say it works pretty ne nicely on tablets, especially old tablets as well, um, and kind of will resale, rescale the interface. Um, I like nice, bright, white interfaces, but um, so a lot of people are into dark mode nowadays. So also, again, if you run your machine in dark mode, um, the interface will scale for that as well. Um, in terms of the um, uh, config for this, it's just running as a YAML config file. So if I show you what that looks like, it's this. So you can see this is very simple. You list a few actions, um, the name, and then the shell command you actually want to run. You can see that you can set your own custom icon to either HTML, um, or there's a few built-in icons as well, like smile and poop emoji and a few others like that. Um, you can see here that you can set your own custom timeout on commands, and there's a few other options in there as well um, that I've not yet fully documented. But the idea is writing a config file for Olivetin is very, very straightforward um, and works just fine. In terms of the project, it is fully open source. Um, it's up on GitHub. Um, it's written as a Go service, so Golang um, is the actual service that runs this. Um, and for those that care, it's using Protobuf and gRPC in the background for the API. Um, we can REST API if you want to use that as well. 
Um, and the web interface is written just using a single page application, JavaScript and that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of getting started, you'll see the README is still in process, uh, is still in progress when I'm writing this, doing this video. Um, but there's a few instructions I think you'll find here on the page. Um, you can run this as a service just directly on Linux or run it in a container as well. Um, I think this probably makes more sense to run just as a direct service on Linux so you can access like all the commands on your server. Um, otherwise, you have to kind of mess around building your own Docker file um, if you want to do more than just pinging or curl or whatever. Um, but yeah, if Docker is your way of doing things then uh, and Linux containers, then by all means, run as a container. Um, thanks very much for watching the video. Just trying to keep it super, super short. Um, really keen to hear, fit, hear feedback. Um, just uh, be kind. Um, this is very early on and just kind of sharing this uh, this app uh, that I created with folks. Cool. Hope this is useful for you. Thanks very much.